I'm Senator Byron Dorgan. When I served in the U.S. Senate, I had the privilege of being the chairman of the Indian Affairs Committee. I was determined that the first Americans shouldn't have second-class health care, second-class housing, or second-class education. Working with me side by side during that period was a woman named Pam Gullison, my chief of staff in the United States Senate. When I left the Senate, I decided to create something called the Center for Native American Youth. And working with me to create that center was Pam Gullison. I'm so proud that Pam Gullison is now a candidate for the United States Congress. She's gonna to go to the U.S. House of Representatives and continue this work. When we elect Pam Gullison to the U.S. Congress from North Dakota, I think Native Americans all across this country, and I know that I and others who work on these issues will have a partner and a powerful advocate for things that matter to American Indians. Hi, I'm Pam Gullison, and I appreciate this opportunity to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about who I am and why I'm running for Congress. My husband Bill and I farm and ranch with our three sons, Lance, Cody, and Cameron. Our boys are the fifth generation of Gullisons that are farming our land, and we feel so incredibly blessed to be sharing that tradition with our sons. I know how important strong traditions are to our North Dakota's tribal communities. You honor your elders and you seek opportunities for your children and your children's children. I know we all share a hope that we'll leave a strong future for the next generation. And I understand the great challenges that you face as you work to build that future with more jobs, better housing, access to quality health care, and educational opportunities for all. You can be assured that I'll work with you as you work to address these problems. Your thoughts and concerns will always be welcome at my door. Today, I'm asking for your support for the U.S. House of Representatives. I'll honor the sovereignty of all tribal nations, and I stand with you. In North Dakota, we don't think in short terms. We think in the long term. We understand that we don't live today for ourselves. We live our lives for every generation. I would appreciate your vote on November 6th.